Hello and welcome to the Fix It Shed. If you'd like to save money by doing things yourself, you're going to want to subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss anything. So I do have some branches to cut that are overhanging a roof, so I want to trim them back. But I do have a manual pole saw, but sometimes when you're pulling on it, the branches just tend to shake and they're uh, a hassle to get. And so I bought this Black & Decker 2-in-1 pole chainsaw. It works as a chainsaw and you can attach a pole to it and use it as a pole saw. So let's check it out and see what's in the box. So this has two different plugs because you have the you have the plug that goes into the wall and then you have the plug for the chain for the pole part of it. Alright, so let's Alright, we gotta cut that. Catch the saw. Let's see. directly into there. Alright, so the pole saw can extend up to 14 feet. It has a 10 inch bar and we'll need to add some bar and chain oil to it. Alright, after we do that I think we're ready to try it out. So now I'm just going to remove the pole and use it as a chainsaw. Now in general, I like Black & Decker products. I think they make a good consumer grade product at a reasonable price. And this pole chainsaw fits into that category. Okay. So now the 10 inch chainsaw that comes with the pole saw is weighs about seven pounds, which is fairly light. Uh, especially when you compare it to my 18 inch Craftsman electric chainsaw, which weighs about 12 or 13 pounds. But when you take this seven pound chainsaw and you put it on the end of a 10 foot pole, 
it gets pretty heavy. So now when I had this on the end of the pole, I kind of felt like this guard and the motor here were blocking my view of the chain and what I was trying to cut. So that did make it a little bit more difficult combined with the fact that it was heavy and hard to maneuver. There are other dedicated electric pole saws which don't have as much to obstruct your view. So now I'm used to using chainsaws which have a 16 or 18 inch bar and this 10 inch bar when I was using it did feel a little bit small, take a little bit getting used to, but it was sufficient for the branches that I was cutting up. So now if you need a small chainsaw and a pole saw, this might be a ticket for you. You get two tools with one purchase. But if you have a dedicated chainsaw, um, I would probably recommend getting a dedicated pole saw as well. I think it's a bit on the small side for doing anything other than trimming branches, and it's a little bit big to have on the end of a pole. So if you enjoyed this video and got something out of it, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Take care.